All right, it is time once again to open up some hidden fates. We have one Charizard, two Charizard, three Charizard tins. And uh, before we begin, um, for every, everyone that's trying to pick up some of these, like uh, my suggestion would be to go to Target and basically find the listing for the three tins. Uh, if it says it's sold out, just hit the button for notify me and uh, you might have an interesting interesting experience. Actually, set it up on your phone too. Uh, just download the app and basically you'll get a notification sporadically throughout the day. Oh, but the item you requested is back in stock and then you click it and maybe it'll already be sold out. It's so weird. Over uh, the last couple days, basically these come into stock at Target for MSRP $20 and they last for, I don't know, minutes on the subreddit. I think people stop posting it because every single time they post it it just goes like I don't know nine minutes in it's like all oh, comment is yeah it's already sold out and um, yeah basically every at least yesterday it just kept coming back in stock and then gone instantly so I do feel like that that new wave is being just gobbled up so fast um, does that mean another wave at this point nothing would surprise me and certainly the demand is there you know the tins for less than twenty dollars i'm pretty sure are all gone and this point even the twenty dollar ones get just bought up so quickly all right so we got 12 shots actually let me finish opening these and uh yeah beer back All right, let's do this. We are good to go. 12 packs, <clears throat> and uh, I feel like we're in a weird time. We're in a bit of a lull in between sets, although soon uh, we do have the toolkits, which I'm so excited to get. So much good stuff. Double the double alternate art to Dene, double bosses order, and a whole lot like the alternate arts. Just a home run of a product, so I can't wait to get those. And I'm sure we'll be doing a bunch of openings with them reverse energy to start but then like uh because of how good that product is i have very little motivation to continue to do any more rebel clash uh so it comes out like all right what are we gonna do until darkness of blaze comes out i'm not sure maybe we'll continue to crack open some of these tins uh while we can again it's very hard to find these now but um yeah then when darkness of blaze comes comes uh comes out it's kind of interesting like yeah maybe we crack some booster boxes but the best maybe the best way to do it is actually open those double pack boosters with a darkness ablaze and a sword and shield for basically the price of one pack so that's another really good product if you haven't checked it out if you do see those uh for you know reasonable price i recommend you pick them up two packs for the regular msrp of one kind of puts into question like oh definitely don't pick up those single single blisters for darkness ablaze surprise i actually produced them but uh yeah so kind of a weird time and maybe that just means some more hidden fates looking for you know, doing a bunch of charizard hunts probably switch between hidden fates and burning shadows for a little bit so far though this is going really rough was that three packs all we have to show is two reverse energies so uh, we're going to need to uh, step this up. We'll stack these all in one pile. I think this is the last pack of the first 10. But hope everyone's having a good day and uh, looking forward to the weekend. All right, can we start making this a good opening? We got oops, Misty's Gym, Chansey, Eevee, Clefairy, a Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, ooh, Giovanni's Exile. It's actually been a while since we've seen this guy or Jesse and James, but uh, yeah, not too hard to pull, to be honest. And, oh wow, we got a double whammy pack. We, super textured again. A, a nice shiny Inke. When it comes to non-GX uh, non shiny Inke, Malamar is one of my favorites. Luckily, it's one of the ones we pull a lot of, too. All right, that definitely helps, although not the best hits. Let's see if we can't find a shiny GX. Price is still crazy. Looking to do a Pokemark, maybe hopefully for tomorrow. All 
All right, here we go. Misty Brox Gym, Slowpoke, Psyduck Clefairy, a Magikarp Ekans, Erica's Hospitality, and then Sabrina. I will say though, like, you know, there's everyone trying to pick up these tins. <clears throat> and I don't know, has anyone gotten any home runs? I know I saw a couple other PokeTubers got like Charizards from them. But mine have not been stellar. High hit rates, just not the best hits. And I do know like a few people have commented very similar experiences with these tins. So yeah, to be honest, like the hype is real. The pull quality is not entirely there. The pull quantity, yes, for sure. Alright, although not so much in this video. Alright, here we go. Graveler. Always confused how this guy has like two arms that just disappear later on. Staryu, a snake with Articuno in the background. Charmander. Bill's analysis for the rare slots. And a another regular shine. Oh, actually this one is not super textured. But we got a cute little gibble. Alright, how we doing? Was this five packs remaining? Oof, over halfway. I guess we're about halfway to our quota, but uh, come on, let's get something good. Sneak peek of one thing we're going to cover in the next Pokemart episode is the stained glass birds. Very interesting stuff. Go on TCG player. Just actually, it's not that easy to find. And here are the birds. This is the full art variety, but um, maybe you'll be surprised what you see or don't see. All right, we got a full art birds, not too bad. Let's see, we'll put you over here. And all right, one tin remaining. Not the home run tins we were looking for, but we got four more shots. Here we go, Metapod, Misty Gym, Magmar, a Slowpoke, Magikarp, Voltorb, Coughing, Blaine's Last Stand, and then just a Jolteon. Let's see, in other news, if you guys haven't seen, uh, should have been like just the last video, we did send off a huge number of cards off to PSA. Gonna be a while before we get them back. I did send some as the economy, uh, because we did have some vouchers to use, so Hopefully those don't take too long and we can start having PSA returns videos but there's only going to be a handful of them before we have to do the long wait for the bulk. And I don't think I'm going to be submitting any more for at least a little bit. Bill and, oh just a star you, and I missed up my piles. Alright two packs remaining, hmm one of the weaker openings we had recently. But yeah, let me know in a comment down below what you're interested in seeing opened. Because this is kind of a weird time. And again, yeah, don't not very incentivized to open a Rebel Clash anymore. But we do have those toolkits coming in. And we do have still some tins, especially if you are a Patreon member and you do want to pick up some tins. $15 a piece, pretty good price. Alright, last pack. We're gonna need something super clutch to make up for these not so good tins. We have Chansey, Graveler, Giovanni, Coughing, Ekans, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, a Zapdos. That is not what we're looking for. And, alright, I guess we got another shiny, but it is just a cute little Vulpix. Um, I, maybe this is okay centered. But I don't think we need to send any more of these PSA. I think I sent off like two so far. All right, so not the not a crazy opening. We got five hits. We didn't even meet our quota. Double reverse energy. And uh, all right, we'll, we'll probably try again in the near future. Again, uh, let me know. All right, we got a lot of Burning Shadows ETBs. Uh, we still have some tins. So if you have an opinion about what you would like to see opening, we're definitely going Charizard hunting in one way or another. Let me know in a comment down below. On that, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle. And I'll catch you guys next time.